Brian? Um, I thought there was a lot of good. I thought we had some really nice stretches. Uh, it was good to get a circle through some different lineups, see some different um, combinations that we wanted that you can't always play together in practice. And um, you know, overall, I was I was happy with our effort. And continued to see some of the things that we need to progress on. And I saw some of those things grow. Some of those things didn't grow quite as much, and, and we now know that those are chances that we have a practice to, to correct those. But overall, it was a good night. I was happy with how the guys did. Is there a lineup or combination that you liked better than others, or aside from the starting five, maybe? Or uh, not yet. I think yeah. we're still circling through that, and obviously need to look at the film, but. We got through them all. I think we got where everybody played with everybody else, which again, in practice you try, but when you have to go with two teams, it's not as easy as it is in the game. So I thought uh, it was good to get a chance to see all those guys play, and now obviously we have film at it. And we not only see which ones we like, but, but you got to do some different things with different lineups. And now you can start to progress down that line, what works best for, for different lineups, both, both sides of the ball, too. Coach, what was that like for you, just being in charge? Uh, it was it was interesting. You know, it's an exhibition, um, but to, to have a chance to coach at your alma mater is pretty cool, and uh, you know, something that I really just tried to focus on the game. You know, like the the best you can, and I think for the most part you get pretty caught up in the moment. But it was definitely a special opportunity, and and obviously, you know, it's it's been a long time since someone else stood on that sideline. So it was it was a cool personal moment, but uh, you know, what's important is is this team and helping these guys out. So yeah, it's not about Obviously, a big moment for you as you spoke about there. Do you have any jitters heading into this at all? Or? Uh, I, I think, again, yes, I can't tell you you don't. Anytime you do something new for the first time, you're going to, especially again, you know, some of the magnitude uh, of being at Gonzaga. But um, again, I, I think you get lost in the moment a little bit. You, you're thinking about the game plan, you're thinking about the opponent in an exhibition game, you're thinking about your own guys and some of the things you're going to do. So I think it was one of those, especially once the game got going, that you're just in a flow and, and those nerves go away. You've probably seen those things from Chet, uh, Hunter, and, and Rasir. Uh, no surprise to see some of the plays they made, highlight real stuff. No, not at all. They're, they're talented guys, and we've seen that in their recruitment process. We've obviously seen that this fall. And, you know, we touched on all of Hunter's athleticism, his ability to play both sides of the ball, get out in transition, um, is, is special. And, and obviously, Chet is such a unique um, weapon. You know, the way he can score inside, the way he shoots threes, you got to see him bring the ball in transition, the rebounds, the blocks. He just stuffs that stat sheet. Um, you know, and then Rajiv, again, has been great all fall. He, he's an experienced guy, which we need. He's proven at a high level. Uh, he's played you know, almost 100 games at the highest level, and, and we're going to need that. And I thought Nolan did some really nice things. I was really happy with Nolan for a freshman with his ball pressure. You know, I thought he played composed. Uh, I thought he got the ball to the spots it needs to be. Um, I, I thought all those young guys did. Caden I mean, Perry was fantastic. You know, we got to see some of that athleticism on the glass and protecting the rim. And, and some of those dunks, and then Ben just continues to get more comfortable. So I thought all five of the freshmen um, did some nice things. Julian, you know, didn't have a bunch of a role last, last season, at least he didn't see the floor a lot during the season, but for him to kind of come out tonight, much bigger role, he led the team in points. Just what, where have you seen him grow? What do you think of his performance tonight? He's just been in a consistent growth, I think. You know, you know, obviously people didn't get to see it last year, but he's a prolific scorer. He proved that at the high school level. And, and last year, you know, you have Corey, who's a first-team All-American and a first-round draft pick, and Joel, uh, kind of at that spot. And, and it's it's tough. There's there wasn't a lot of time to go around, but he continued to develop both in terms of how we play here and understanding what we're doing, and then his individual game. He's brought that into fall camp, and we need that for him. He's a guy that can shoot it. Uh, excuse me, he can really really get downhill. He's got some size at that position. So I think he's just continued to expand his game and, and really understands what we're looking for at that spot. And, you know, especially early, obviously, got us off to a great start, which was huge. What's different from an operational standpoint on game day with you kind of taking your, your role that you have now? And is, is there something that another coach that's kind of taking on the duties that you normally have on, on game day? Or what are you guys kind of doing differently coaching-wise to, to kind of make the adjustment? And is there anything you do differently next game that, that you kind of learn from today? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the first half of that is, is just logistically, everybody's going to have a little bit of a different role. Um, so, you know, the, amongst the staff, they did a great job. They took a bunch of the stuff that, that I've done. And obviously, Stephen Gentry's unbelievable. He's really, really capable. He's had a big role. 
Uh, Roger does a fantastic job here, has, has done a great job for us since he got here and is, is really helping out. So to have those two guys helping me and then just kind of being able to, to you know, move everything to different staff members, like you said, um, was, was really helpful. And they did a great job tonight. They were very helpful to me personally and to the guys. Um, I think for next game, uh, from a logistical standpoint, I don't think so right now. I thought we had a pretty good flow. I was actually happy with, I think, how it flow, flowed from a staff perspective. Um, you know, as far as a coaching perspective, obviously each game's new. We got to see what the next opponent brings, kind of game planning wise. And then, uh, you know, again, I want to watch the film first, but kind of see what some of those rotations look like, what some of those groupings look like, and, and then again, some of the things that might have worked offensively or defensively that that we could do more or less of next Friday. Next Friday. Well, what's the last game you coached? And whether it's your kids' AAU or. Going back to GU inter squad game. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, I had a team at, at craziness, and, and we scrimmage, you know, internally. So uh, I've had, I've had, you know, ever since I became an assistant, so the last nine, ten years, whatever we're at, I, I've coached those teams internally. Uh, I think that was uh, probably the head coaching debut in front of a fan base. I did a little bit of AAU stuff when I first left GU here, so that would have been what 2005. Uh, so a little bit different there, but. Uh, you know, it's part of it's part of what makes this place special and what makes Coach so good is he gives us uh, a lot of opportunities and a lot of freedom. So you guys see it publicly at craziness where the assistants get a coach, but at practice we'll do a lot of scrimmages and he'll supervise both teams, but, but the assistants get a, co a chance to coach those rosters. So that, that definitely helped my comfort level tonight. How, how did you settle on starters? Was it March and deciding, or how did you guys come to that? Yeah, coach and I, and obviously the whole staff, like we like we do anytime. There's nothing different there. Obviously, coach is our leader, and, and he's going to have a huge input in it. And the assistants, based on you know what what we've seen through fall camp, um, you know a little bit of, of just kind of want to see what different lineups look like again. Obviously, we changed it at the half, but yeah, that's always a staff decision, and obviously, coach has the biggest say. But again, he's awesome, and we always have input, so it's a group decision. Like always. What do you make of the versatility, I mean, guys? Almost positions. There is a, there is a lot of that, and, and I think that's got to be a gift of this team. Um, you know, the way we talked about Chet's versatility. I think you guys got to see those those guards' versatility. It's Rajir, Andrew, Nolan playing on and off the ball. Obviously, Hunter getting out in transition, and then um, you know, especially the way that Anton and Chet and Drew can handle that ball in the perimeter and bring it in transition is something that we've done a lot here in the past. And I think with with three guys that can do it, really. Once you interchange those lineups, you're still getting that same um, kind of action that's been so good for us. So uh, I thought it was good, um, and, and it's a definite positive. We have to make it one of our biggest positives, I think, this year. But it also makes some of those lineups and different things a little bit tougher because guys are so versatile. You're, you're constantly moving them into different spots, and I think that's going to take a little bit to get used to. They've had 11 block shots, and I think four four different guys had two each. Uh, at least two each. Drew had three. Do you think the rim protection can can be a real asset for this team? And if you, do you think Drew can kind of add that to his game and make that uh, make that a big aspect of what he does on defense? Yeah, I think that's a great call. I think it's going to have to be an asset for this team, and I think Drew's better than he gets credit for. Um, you know, especially last year, he he didn't have a lot of you know options to back him up and dispel him, so he had to be pretty smart. Uh, with his fouls, and this year we, we talked about it. all five of those bigs are really, really capable. Uh, Drew's a good shot blocker. Anton's a very good defender. Obviously, Chet's a really unique shot blocker, a totally different entity in there. And then Ben and Caden come in, and they fly around. Caden's athleticism's up there with anybody we've had, and, and he's going to go get it. He's not going to shy away. And ben Gregg does a great job putting his body on the line, and I think he's probably uh, more versatile than, than people realize. And the thing about Ben is, is he just makes plays. He comes up with the ball. You know, he had deflections, he had blocks, he had rebounds. And so when you got five guys in there, the guys know that they can really give everything they have to protect the rim. But it's going to be key to, to how we play this year. Probably have time for one more question for Coach Michelson. The rest of the evening, what? Are you going to pass out candy or are you doing for Halloween? <laughs> yeah, I got a. Uh, I got little kids, so they're probably waiting for me, and uh, they're really, really excited. So we're gonna all get dressed up and uh, go do some trick or treating. So it'll be fun. The kids are excited. You have a costume for you? I do. My wife is uh, having our whole family go as the Sandlot. So this is my first costume ever. Obviously, coincided with today, but I'm not a big dress up guy. But the wife and kids talked me into it this year. So.
Which the Sandlot crew. Which character are you? I get to be Squints. I didn't have an option. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these are things when you got little kids, you don't have an option. They tell you what you are. So. All right. Thanks, guys.